Gemini's welcome back to the channel you guys so I'm going to do your video for um today <laughs> I don't know why do you guys I always start your videos and I'll be like that's not my intro but I'm gonna do your love reading for today to see what's going on with you and your person Gemini um gemini's if you guys are new here i'm the sin tara welcome to the channel if the video does resonate with you remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up on the channel so youtube can push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow okay if it doesn't resonate for you guys i will have a link in the description box it will be your playlist all right so hopefully one of those messages resonate there if this one does not Gemini's, thank you so much for all your love and, you know, support on your last videos. It's been amazing. Um, I know sometimes YouTube, when I upload a lot of videos on this channel, YouTube kind of hold back a lot of videos and don't let them have, don't let it reach out there or give it to you in your, um, your subscription box. So, you know, they just want you to upload. I think it's like 12 or 5 videos Per day or something like that but I feel like I have a lot of messages for you and I don't waste I don't um, make videos and keep them and then you know I, I sometimes I do that but then it's like oh I feel like somebody needs to hear the message so I put a lot of videos out on my channel um, and that you know mess up my um, YouTube thing I don't know I, I really don't know a lot about it but anyways I hope this message gets to you. Um, if hopefully YouTube does does not hold it back from you, and I hope it gets push pushed through, okay? Because I see yesterday um, I made some videos and it, it looked like they didn't send out the notification. So yeah, but let's get into your message, you guys. Um, I just wanted to bring up my um, Instagram because I don't want to not bring it up. I know a lot of you already know this, but go over to my Instagram and follow your girl. As soon as I hit 5Ks there, I'll be doing live readings for you over at my Instagram. The link will be in the description if that's something you are into. As soon as I hit 5Ks, I will do live and do personal readings for free there, okay? Only on the Instagram. That's it. <laughs> I had a comment where if I'm just going to do free readings now, only on my Instagram. But if you want a personal reading when I am open and ready, I will start doing booking slots, okay? All right. But right now, it's like I'm tied up. Your girl is tied up right now, okay? Bear with me. All right, Gemini in the person, please. All right. We have the three of swords here. The death right next to it. The five of cups. We have the strength. <sighs> Sorry about that noise. All right. So I feel like there is a, a situation that happened where this person broke your heart. Okay, Gemini. This person is, I feel like they're bothering you or they're just, why am I getting like this person is bothering you and they're just not getting what's really going on and how you're feeling right now for some of you like there is a fresh heartbreak here like so this could have happened recently where you found out that this person was doing you wrong okay but in their defense they're saying that they didn't know it was that serious <laughs> for you okay like maybe for some of you this person wasn't in, in to them they weren't in a committed relationship but to you you guys were you know in a committed relationship um, but they are, have not learned from this situation in a death card they're very stuck in like why are you feeling this way why are you acting this way like I don't get it even though they broke your heart so this person is living in a lot of like regret and wishing okay maybe maybe it's my fault maybe I should have realized um, and you know it's a lot of abandonment issues here like I'm getting like this person wasn't really around um, the strength card is also here where this person is going to conjure up the energy and the confidence to come towards you, okay? All right, so let's tell me more, please, for Gemini and their person. We have the mistake, the moon in reverse. Wow, so they're going to try to correct this. Woof! 
okay, but they're keeping their feelings so silent. They want to fight for this, but you might not because I see the nine of wands in the back of the deck in the present moment. Okay, this is how you feel right now. And you're just like, I am so not trying to fight for this connection. <laughs> Oh my god, but your person is. Oh my goodness. So this is from your past, you guys. You're still dealing with your past person. All right? <laughs> yeah, this person wants to be successful. It's like they have unfinished business with you and they're going to move forward with their thoughts. They're thinking about what can they do to make it right and they're moving forward with it. But but by the time they move to towards you, I can't even speak, their emotions are just shut. They're going to keep whatever they have going on or what they're feeling or what they really want to say um, to themselves. And what they really want to say is, okay, well, I want to try again. You know, this is what they really want to say. They want to see where it goes with you. But they're keeping that on check. So let's see. Keep going here. We have the 11 in reverse, 11-11 card. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of other people coming into this situation, which this could mean a third party situation. This person, when a situation happened, they didn't even try to fix this thing right off the bat. They let it linger in the chariot in reverse, okay? They didn't know where to go. Just like the death card is in reverse, they were stuck. And they were stuck with the chariot too. They didn't know which, to, where to go, how to fix this. Um, they were just waiting, okay, waiting for things to, to work out on its own. But they know that they have to gather up the strength in the strength card to come and to come and talk to you to come and fix this, because the eleven eleven is also here, which tells me that your home is in turmoil. Like you and this person is not getting along right now. You can't even look at each other. Um, and you look at this person as someone that you don't want to spend your rest of your life with anymore because they disappointed you. So this is how you see this person now. You see them as the empress, the empress, um, in reverse, somebody that's unstable, somebody that's not trustworthy, somebody that is not balanced out. They don't know what they want. They're liars. They're lazy. And this is not somebody that you want to spend your rest of your life with. But I also feel like your person is fighting with a lot of people that they have arbor into their life and let come and let them come into their life and your life and your situation, okay? And they're trying to defend themselves. They're trying to stand up for themselves. And I see this person doing this with fighting with everyone, okay? Um, I feel like they're trying to be protective at the same time, but it's this thing, this whole situation is out of control to the point that you had to walk away from this person and move on with your life okay you needed a break from this person um you needed to breathe you're feeling like suffocated okay i feel like you're going to be at a point very soon where you could talk to this person and communicate with them and let them know hey this is how i feel okay um i feel like you probably felt like this was uh, this relationship was like a prison Oh, let me get that. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, we have the judgment. We have the three <laughs> third party situation. Oh my goodness. We have the three of cups in reverse, the two of um swords, and then we have the nine of wands. Like I said before, you know, your person wants to fight for this. Even though they put you through a lot of things, you're burnt out right now. I feel like you're tired. Um you're there's like they sucked all your energy out from this relationship okay by not making you feel secure all right um there's a decision here that needs to be made that haven't made already i feel like you still open the door to a possibility of you working this thing out with this person um that's why the angels are getting involved here because karmic energy is on the rise if this person doesn't do the right thing by you someone cheated with this three of cups here um it could be someone that you know but someone that you're not really close to maybe it's a cousin that you don't even talk to or a neighbor or um, a friend of a friend um but this person cheated okay the three of swords three of cups i mean the two of swords is also here that indicates that this person Need to make a decision and wants to bring peace to this whole conflict here, but haven't made a decision to do this as yet, okay? What's the final result for this relationship? What is the conclusion here for this reading, for these energies? 
Hmm. All right, so I see that you're not entwined with your intuition right now, okay? Well, this person is waiting for you, waiting for you to come to them. Hmm. After what they did, I feel like I feel like you know this person might have tried, but it's a, it's about confidence. You know, this person doesn't have enough confidence, and this is why the strength card is here because they have to gather their confidence to come towards you, and they will. Okay, so keep that in mind because this person is thinking about you a lot, um, entwined with their memories and living in regret because of what they have done. They do feel, um some kind of they feel bad because they what have they done okay and it's like they can't really change it because it's going to linger even if you guys decide to stay together this is something that you guys have to work through the devil is also here that in, you know let me know that this person is tied into something and also thinking about you dramatically here um it's like an addiction with them but I feel like this person wants to get out of whatever they have going on here. But it's going to take them a lot of work. Um, I feel like, you know, they're going to probably lose everything if this person is already um, entwined with someone else, meaning married to someone else in a toxic relationship. But something toxic about this person that they're keeping a lot of like secrets from you because of their situation okay they know that they might lose you if you find out about it and some of you already have and this is why this is occurring okay with this third party situation here <clears throat> because this is recent i feel like in the three of swords this is something that you haven't healed from yet the high pre the high priestess is also here in reverse where i told you that you don't trust your intuition i feel like because you're so in love with this person like you don't know what to do um you don't know what to do and that's why you're watching this video you're um searching for answers here you don't you're, you're not trusted you already know what's going on you feel it but you have to trust your intuition okay you know what to do you're not happy at this present time and you're doing the work i see you're doing a lot of healing and this is what you know i was talking about with other readings okay um because Gemini, you guys were coming up like you guys needed to do healing, like healing needed to take place here um, for a lot of you, okay? I believe it was the messages that I did yesterday. Um, Actually, is it today or yesterday? But it was messages, okay, <laughs> that I did for you guys. And it was saying that you guys need to do the work. You guys need to heal. You guys need to find out what you want. And this is a perfect time to find out what you guys want because... Um, the work needs to be done, okay? Because there's going to be new love coming into your life. There's going to be an award for you when you do this healing process, okay? Taking the time out to treasure yourself, to love yourself, to, you know, invest in yourself. Buy yourself a diamond ring. Buy yourself things that you've been waiting for for somebody else to buy you because you're worth it, you know? You're worth it. Um <laughs> You know, someone once told me that I always asked this one person, she had a, a ring on her hand. It was a beautiful diamond ring. And I said, wow, who gave you that? She said, I brought it for myself. And I said, wow, but you have it on your married hand. She was a guest. I married myself. And she was, I was like, well, what if, what if somebody else comes into your life? You know, she was like, well, they have to top this ring. The person who comes into my life have to top the ring that I brought for myself. This is how I love myself. This is what it represents. And if they love me, it has to top that ring. And I was just like, wow, what a statement. Something to think about, you guys. You know, I, you know, it's, it's. I don't know how to explain it. I, I would say that person is a look. Some people would think that person is conceited and, you know, how, you know, buying a ring for herself or, but that's how much she loved herself. And, you know, the next person, the ring that's going to replace that ring is going to be bigger than that. That's what she's saying because that's how she wants that other person to love her more than she loves herself. So it kind of makes sense, you guys. So I just thought that that was, that's always something that I, I would think about and you know and I just thought that you should hear it but this is this is what's going on you know I feel like a lot of you are finally doing the work um because the ten of swords is in reverse so you know you're finally doing the work and at the end of the day when you do the work you're going to start in, you're going to see yourself into a better situation okay all right, guys, I love you guys, and I hope it um, resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.